It is a quick and easy dinner recipe that is perfect for a weeknight. Here to share more, we welcome back the creator of the blog, The Perfect Tide, Susie Sakamoto. Great to meet you. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me again. We Excited are talking seafood with a Mediterranean twist. Oh, yeah. I love all of that. I love all things seafood, and I love the flavor that you bring with your background, too. Yeah, thank you. And today I'll be making my air fryer frozen fish recipe. Yes. yes. So easy. Beautiful. And it's going to be in a super fresh Mediterranean dressing that we're going to whip up here. And it's an amazing recipe because you don't need to thaw anything. You just take the fish straight out of your That's freezer. That's a game changer. It really is. I am so guilty of forgetting to thaw. And then it's 5 o'clock and I go, oh, no, what am I going to do? This recipe. You've solved the problem <laughs> for us. Okay, so tell me the frozen fish that we're starting with. Okay, so we're starting with black cod today. Okay. And it's a super easy fish to work with. It's so buttery. Nice. And it's really easy to pop in the air fryer. You can also do it with other fish, uh, like white, normal white fish, halibut, mm -hmm. salmon even. I have all the different recipes on my website. Awesome. Yep. Do you have tips or things you look for when shopping for frozen seafood? Because different varieties can have different sort of shelf lives with the frozen, non-frozen options. Yeah, and it really depends on what your preference is. Okay. So if you're going to be using it completely frozen and make it in this recipe, mm -hmm. Usually people go for salmon. Well, yes. salmon's a great option, but coho ends up being a little bit more dry. So okay. go for more king salmon or the black cod because yeah. it's so buttery. I love that. Um, or even halibut is really good awesome. too. Awesome, okay, yeah. so choose your own adventure. Exactly. And then where do yep. we go from there? Okay, so first we're gonna make the marinade. And I'll have you, if you don't mind, cut and squeeze a okay. lemon. Should I do the rolling of it first? Does that help? Yeah. Okay. Get all That's the juices all out. <laughs> And then we're gonna do half of a lemon there, and I'm Did gonna. You see me? I just use the knife upside down. Don't <laughs> judge me. Don't judge me. Hey, we it's have fun fine. around here. Um, it's not perfect, yeah, okay. but it's fun. And this is see. This is my. You don't know how inexperienced I am in the kitchen. This right is here. truly see. <laughs> see. I told you we're having fun. You told me to cut and squeeze a lemon, and I. Hey, just, a lot of people can relate with I, that. That this was is, a, yeah. already flummoxed. <laughs> okay. Just okay. one or both of these? So just half of one. And oh, then I'm okay. going to do two cloves of garlic. I'm done. <laughs> you did it. I made it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> garlic. Two cloves of garlic. Okay. Then we're putting in a little bit of onion powder. Yum. A little bit of red pepper flakes. Okay. And a dash of salt. Beautiful. Oh, I love this already. This is going to be so fresh. And a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna stir that up. Okay. Okay. Stir, 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 stir. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not jumping in. <laughs> you take the lead. I'll make you oh do some other goodness. cutting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we're gonna. That's so easy. Get our, yep, that's it. Okay. So just, you know, most people will take that in about 30 seconds and do that. So yeah. take your frozen fish fillet. Still frozen. We haven't done anything frozen. to it. Okay. Ice crystals and all. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pop it on the air fryer basket. Okay. We're gonna take our marinade and pour half. Half. Of okay. It straight on this. Just straight on there. Yep. Okay. Just a nice little drizzle. Yep. Okay. That is all. Oh, that smells so good already. Mm. And then we're gonna pop it in the air fryer. Okay. And this is. 375 for about 10 minutes. And the goal with air frying frozen fish is to get them to be about 140 to 145 degrees when they're done. Okay. And again, all the different kinds of fish are on my website. You can even do it with frozen uh, shellfish, like shrimp. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Okay, <laughs> I love that. Super easy, healthy, yeah. especially for the new year. So we're gonna pop it in the air fryer. For sure. And while it's cooking, is the good time to start prepping your veggies that okay. we're gonna add. So I've already pre-made some saffron rice. You can do any rice or even Yum. steamed rice that you have in your freezer. And we're going to cut carrots, sorry, not carrots, cucumber, yes. tomatoes, red onion, and a little bit of parsley put on top. Okay. So I'm going to grab some tomatoes. Classic Mediterranean flavor. I yep. love all of these things together. And it's so fresh, especially with a frozen fish that you don't think about, you know, yeah. marinating it. Yeah, I wouldn't it put those two things together, but right. why not? Yeah, so I'm going to put a little bit of cucumbers here if okay. you don't mind okay using the right side of the knife yes <laughs> are you just a, like a slice in half or how yeah, much just in oh, half. okay no, I can do that I can do that <laughs> pop it on here okay and we're gonna put a little bit of red onion 
And again, you're doing this while the fish is cooking. Right. So it's so easy. So we're really only talking together. about like a 15 minute start to finish. At most. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. And most people might be scared of cooking frozen fish, right. you know, straight from the freezer. But I prefer it, and especially being a seafood blogger, as soon as I discovered that you can, yeah. I almost never want to go back. That's a game changer. It, it, it really is. And there's less bacteria that grows in it when you go straight from the freezer okay. and immediately do you know your cooking and put that it in the air fryer or the and oven. we're so busy, especially on the weeknights. The kids have all their activities. Right. We do not have time to mess around with this stuff. Nope. Okay. That's right. So it's incredibly easy and ends up being a super fresh, nice meal to put okay. together. This is looking okay. beautiful. Thank you. I'm going to do a little bit more cucumbers okay. here. And then we're going to, once it's done, I've already pre-made. Yeah, we have some TV magic. Oh, always. Cod already ready for us. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're going to put it all together. Let's I love this. In. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, so we have this one already oh, done. That looks so beautiful. I love that. Okay. Okay, so we're going to plate it. And then you can mix the whole thing together mm -hmm. or not. It's yeah. completely how, you know, I, I like to keep them all separate. Some people like to mix them all together. Sure. Um, and then we're going to add the rest of the marinade or the dressing on top of everything. Perfect. And again, it's such a good recipe for the new year with everybody eating healthier and making it achievable. It is, it's yeah. a good reset. It's a good time to take stock of what's in your fridge, refresh the veggies, mm -hmm. add some frozen fish, and that's so easy. I'm gonna dive in and take a bite. Sure. I'm so excited to try this. Okay, do you get like a little bit of everything? Get a little is bit of, kind of the, the black here? cod, yeah. Okay. And then a little bit of the... a little of this. I love onion, I'm going in. What are you making mm -hmm. tonight? What's on the menu this evening? Probably this, because oh, yeah. <laughs> I've made nothing mm -hmm. else. Mm. <laughs> That is so good, you're right. Fresh start, new year. I love that, thank you so much for visiting us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. We will have this recipe and more about Susie and her blog, The Perfect Tide, on our website at katu.com. And we'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.